Hey guys, this is Killer Arcade Games. I'm Chris, and I've I've been putting off trying to make this video for a while because there's so many variables with MAME. Uh, MAME seems like it was made to be intentionally difficult, but it's really not that difficult if you just get down to the basics of it. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. I'm going to show you how to install it, where to put ROMs, and how to launch them. So let's get started with this little tip. The issue with MAME is you need to get ROMs that are for the version of MAME you're using. Certain versions of MAME are not going to work well with certain games. It's very confusing. There's really no manual on this. There's not many resources on what version to use. It all depends on your hardware too, so it makes it very difficult to tell you exactly what you need. Uh, for example, <clears throat> if you're looking for a reasonably priced used PC that's going to run a lot of MAME games, including the harder games to run like Killer Instinct, San Francisco Rush, Mortal Kombat 4, NFL Blitz, all the Blitz arcade titles can run on that. It can even run NBA Showtime, although it runs a little bit slower than full speed, but it's definitely playable. Um, I do have a computer that I use in all of my cabinets that I will link to in the description. If you like it, pick it up. There's a lot of content on my channel about that PC, uh, so I can actually help you guys out if you have questions with that too. So. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the other important thing about MAME. If you download MAME 202, we'll call, we'll say version 202 because that's one I use frequently and like a lot, you need to get ROMs for that version. Now how do you know you're getting ROMs for that version? Pretty much just have to Google it. I can't legally leave a link right now to MAME ROMs for you guys, so your best bet, for example, is Google something like this. MAME and whatever version you're using, which in my case would be 202, and then you search for a ROM set. From there, wherever Google takes you is up to you. Just know that what you're doing is technically not legal. So let's move on to the first step. First step is to go to mamedev.org. That is the official MAME website. We'll go there now. You don't always want to get the latest version of MAME, especially if your PC is older. The HP computer I'm linking to, the highest version of MAME I've ever used on it is MAME 209, and that's for games like NBA Showtime and Mortal Kombat 4. Beyond that, I use MAME 202 for like Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. If you want to run NFL Blitz, I highly recommend using MAME 175 uh, on that PC. It works really, really well. And as you can see, they have all the versions I think they've ever made on here, so you're good for that. But for now, we're going to download MAME 202, and here's another quick side note. If you have a newer computer like the HP one I linked to, just go ahead and grab the 64-bit versions because you're going to need that to run the newer games. Sorry, I'm using a very weird keyboard and mouse, so I have to do things a little weird. Okay, so while that finishes downloading, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Go into this PC, go to local disk. Most people don't install things here anymore. I like to. Go ahead and right click, go to new and add a new folder, name it MAME. And whatever version of MAME you're using, I highly recommend putting it at the end. So in my case, MAME 202. In case you end up installing different MAME versions down the line, you're going to know exactly which one you're dealing with. Let's go back to, um, where is it? I guess we'll go back to Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and open the file I downloaded. Now we need to tell it where to extract MAME 2. So click these, this here, click, or oh, sorry, go down to local disk, find the folder you made. In my case, it's MAME 202. Click OK, click Extract. Wait for that to finish, and then we can move on. Okay, now that that's finished, go down here, back to your C drive, go to MAME 202. Now you're gonna see you have a ton of stuff in here now. Uh, you wanna mainly focus on this folder, ROMs. Go ahead and open that, you'll see it's gonna be empty. Uh, I would drag it off to the side here. We don't need that one, but let's get a new folder or a new window going. Uh, wherever you've downloaded your ROMs from, go ahead and grab that. They may be in your downloads folder. In my case, I'm storing them over here right now. Say you downloaded Mortal Kombat. You're going to have an MK zip file. You want to leave it zipped. Do not unzip it. All you really have to do is drag it over into your ROMs folder. Now games like War Gods, Killer Instinct, and a few others are going to have a hard drive file which would end in .chd. The file name has to match it exactly. You've got your ROM here which is wargods.zip, which it doesn't show the .zip, but it's wargods.zip and you have a wargods.chd. So let's copy this over, just move the rest of these right on in. Alright, let's go back 
and then go down here to MAME64. Double click that. It's gonna load this old school looking kind of software. I don't know, it always reminded me of DOS in a weird way, but go ahead to the left, click available, and that's gonna show you the games you've just dropped in. In most cases, they're gonna be ready to play right away. Let's just double click one and see what happens. You have a few messages in the way, uh, errors detected, this stuff will all pass eventually, but you're ready to go. It's running MK2, no problem, it's very simple. Now you hit escape, so now you've got your games in here and you're all set. Uh, you may have to configure a few options, for example, with the this particular HP PC, sometimes you have to change the video options. If you're having a weird look where it looks like lines are going through your screen or there's some kind of, some kind of interruption, you wanna go over here and change this to OpenGL. Return to previous menu, and then save configuration, and once you return to previous menu again, it reboots and then it'll fix that problem for you. Uh, you'll know almost immediately if you're having that issue because this whole area will be blinking and it won't look right. So once you do that, you're good to go. Now a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up the buttons. Let's load up Mortal Kombat here. Uh, while the game is running, press the tab key on your keyboard, go down to input this machine, press enter, go down here, you've got player one up. Just go ahead and start mapping your buttons by pressing enter on the input you want to map, and then press up on a joystick, keyboard, controller, whatever you have. And there you go, and just repeat these steps over and over. Go to here, press enter, press the button or joystick direction you want to use, and move down to the next one. Just keep doing that over and over. And that's pretty much it. One important thing to note is you do have to add a coin button if you're not gonna have the game on free play. In this case, by default, it's always the number five key. Um, let's back out and I'll show you. And there you go. Usually to press start by default is number one. And there you go. You're all set for that. Once you press escape, it saves the button configurations and you can move on to your next game. Now you do have to set the buttons for each game individually. I don't recommend trying to set them all, you know, general inputs, it's not a good idea. Another quick thing to note is if you want to get into the arcade game settings, by default, MAME is set to where you press F2 on the keyboard and you'll be in the arcade settings. You can change things like difficulty, which would be, it's different on every game, but on Mortal Kombat, it's usually like this. You can change them up and down, set them to very easy, whatever you want. You can turn on free play. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff usually. You can see, you can even change the volume of the game. Set all that. And then once you're done, just exit the test menu and there you go. So that's really like the most basic install of MAME I can give you guys. I wanted to keep this as quick as possible. You may run into certain games, like for example, War Gods. I know this isn't going to work because I ran into this issue before. If you run into this kind of stuff, you're gonna have to just start Getting more familiar with MAME, you're gonna have to go down the rabbit hole and try to figure out how to fix this stuff. Typically what fixes it is search whatever is missing, like in most cases it's a .bin file like this. C31 boot bin, what you have to do basically is go unzip the ROM file in Windows, find this file, drop it in there, and rezip it using the exact same name of course. Then MAME will actually let you launch the game. This doesn't always fix it for you, but once again, MAME is not very user-friendly. It's not noob-friendly whatsoever. So the best thing I can tell you to do is just start experimenting. It's gonna be impossible for me to tell you how to fix every single one, but that usually is what fixes it. If you find a huge list of stuff you're missing, I would just assume you have the wrong ROM altogether and search for another source. Or maybe try a different version of MAME. That may help you too. All right, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. I really, didn't want to make it because I know people are still going to have questions, but this is about the best that I can do for you. If it did help you guys, please leave me a comment and let me know. If you still have some questions, also leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you out. Please give the video a thumbs up if it was. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.